Ghana, South Africa, Fulham, two, Arsenal, one. And I'm here with David Eventus. And I'm here with Mr. David. Um, Mr. David, two losses in a row now. The game against West Ham and now this one against Fulham. What do you think the problem is currently? Uh, before I go there, the, the first thing I want to say is that uh, I've asked my guys to contribute money for me. Let me go to London, North London and meet Ateta. If I cannot do anything to him, I will just blow his mouth, reset his head. Just like uh, someone said before the game, I was already very angry when I saw the lineup. I was not impressed. We have the likes of Smithrow. We have Rich Nelson. Why do you bring these people up only when we are losing? How would they gain confidence? What is Trossard always doing inside midfield? Drop Kai Havertz for once, too. At least he's just clueless. How can you lose from first? You, you throw away all the points just like that. No, I don't need to sit up, I swear. He's the architect of our failure. No other person. Even if you're Bukai Osaka and the likes, you have to, you, of course, you, they need rest. You have been playing the same set of people every time, the same set of people every time. When you have bench, Adibin Ateta was the coach when uh, Bukai Osaka was uh, uh, in Arsenal Academy. It means uh, Bukai Osaka will not see much to play. He won't play. Because he's not promoting the youth team. He's not even considering anybody from the youth team. So I don't, I don't understand. Then again, Kiwo. Today he started Kiwo because uh, Zinchenko was injured. Fine. I, was, I carefully watched Kiwo. I don't know if Ateta, maybe during the match, he's thinking about his wife in the house or something else. I don't know. Because as for me, the Kiwo I saw today, first half, was excellent in, in, um, in that defensive position he played. And, and he was even inverting. He was midfield. inverting. That's what I'm saying. He was doing well. Just for me, second half, I saw him making changes. If I were the coach, I'd remove Ben White. I would take up Ben White. And at the end of, now, I'm going down to one, he still brought out that, still removed that Ben White. And he have already lost Kiwo. So I don't, I don't know what Ateta is doing, uh, but the only luck he has is that I don't have the financial capacity right now to visit him in North London. At least I know what I would have done to him. Yes. I would have reminded you of my past, how we used to do it if a coach misbehave. So that's all I can say for now. Um, well, it boils down to Ateta. He's the architect of our failure. So we are, we are struggling to score goals, actually. If you flow that, if you, if you, from the, for the past few games, we've actually struggled to score goals. Do you think it's a tactical issue or it's about form? Both. Tactical issues and form. Just like this today's, uh, 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 just like West Ham match. How will you shoot 30 shots and not get one goal? So I think the, the coach is not doing enough. And then this opportunity has presented itself January. I'm even happy, in fact, it's better we didn't win those games. So that those will make us sit up in the transfer window. Sell the ones you can sell and make sure for me three players. I personally I'd, I'd line them. Three. What, what positions? Attack, midfield, defensive four, and one central defender. One utility defender. I have identified from the defense. You can go for a delete, which I have seen uh, as I don't know how serious it is the rumor. Yes. Good. Then Poliha. You can't get the uh, Douglas Lewis right now, it will be very expensive. He just signed a contract. Poliha. I think uh, Fulham is saying 60 million, they will release him. And then, if you can't get the team, make sure he gets Bibindi, which is the reason why you ostracize uh, uh, Xhaka. And then in the attack, if I were, if I were to be Arsenal, Osimen will not escape this January. As at yesterday, I saw it as rumor also, they outlined Osimen, Victor Boniface, and uh, Lotara Martinez. I'm not sure if Inter Milan will be willing to release Lotara Martinez. He's the highest goal scorer right now in Serie A. Go for Simen. 206 million is what is his current contract. Pay him 300, pay him 400. He deserves it. He's worth it. And then release the pay that release clause. If you can get these three players, these three players then consider the uh, Arsenal will get, uh, go home with the league. If, uh, well, maybe we'll, I don't know if I'll take that, but it's our problem. Those are the three players I'm looking at. Either Victor Boniface, who is high flying in Bayern Leverkusen, is doing so well. I think if you if you if you flash by Liverpool and fifty million on Boniface, they will, they will, they will comfortably yes, they'll give it to you, release him. And then get someone that will come and help. Before they can rise, he'll kill himself for us and oh he's doing two people's job. He looks he looks tired already. Of course, he'll be tired, he's human. Even the uh uh uh, uh Saka that we are complaining of right now is fatigue. How can Saka play all the matches? 
Is not a human being. Did he sign contract to play everything? Eh? Martinelli bench him small too. Give that position to Rhys Nelson to try. And then any day want to play, uh, what's his name? Trossard. Don't play him inside. If you play him by the wing, that is where he, he used to finish, uh, finish work for, uh, at Brighton. Not, uh, people should send me to London. Do all you can. If uh, working um, Gunners Hop is. You people should send me to Lo North London. Let me grab a tater by the neck. Eh? I will give me a dirty slap first. And then expect uh, reasonable questions from him. So by the time I, by the time I give him the, la the next point, he will realize himself and know what to do. Yes. So that's all I'm asking for. Send me to North London. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me mess him up so that he will sit up because he needs someone to, to, to deal immensely with him. So you understand that he's just, he plays with our emotions. My darling Arsenal that I love so much and, uh, and, and uh, Ateta. Ateta, you are lucky I'm not in North London. What? I would have used the chemistry of Opak job. Ah! Ateta, don't worry. I'll be there soon. Pray before I will get there, you should not remain there. Another thing I'm asking for is if he does not improve, I should be asking a coach. Let me take up that job. I know what to do. My days in Wanya, my days in Bender United and Bender Insurance. Eh? So going forward, so going forward. Uh, I, I've said enough. You know, as a as a technician that I am in the field, I I still want to encourage him. It's not easy when you are standing by that sideline. The pressure, eh, the pressure is much. It shouldn't be tense. It should calm down. Go back to the drawing board. Arsenal needs to go back to the drawing board. One more thing is that most of the, the teams have studied what we did last season. Yes. And so they, they, because they have studied you, just like what happened in Fulham match, they didn't, Fulham did not, they, they, they sat back, absorbed the pressure, and counter. And then again, each time we, we mark, you mark the player to be signed. That's why Kudus punished us. So to me, Kudus punished Arsenal. And he has been doing it, he's up and doing. Kudus was at Abek and where he was waiting for Arsenal to just, to just pay. Ah! We lost Kudus. Suitable, suitable replacement, replacement for Saka. Suitable. 40 million pounds. 40 million pounds. We lost him. So why would they punish you? And we couldn't get him. Now Saka is dying already. Is this how we are going to do and go and face uh, FC Porto in the Champions League and, and then surpass uh, round 16? <laughs> I don't know. So I, I, I want to encourage him to at least go back to the drawing board. Promote you team. So promote you team. We have people in the academy. So are you telling me that if Ateta was the coach when Bukayo Saka was in the academy team, it means a lot of uh, um, Bukayo Saka will not, won't be playing, won't have Simitro in the team, won't have Rhys Nelson, because there will be no room for them to be promoted. I was I watched Liverpool. We have the likes of, um, what's his name? Elliot. Elliot. Elliot is doing fine. He, look, at, Jones. Look, at, look at the way the uh, club is bringing them in, introducing them, bringing them in. Not, not only when they are losing. Losing has a mentality. Just like today again, it was when he has lost the game eh, that he now introduced uh, and then played them out of this. Oh, God. Look at um, Ogadola has brought another guy out, another youth player out again. Yeah. Kopama is, is not a youth player. Rico uh, uh, Bobby. Uh, uh, Bo what's his name? Bob something. Uh, Bob something, and then another Luke Lewis. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Playing very well. I saw how the way he was handling midfield. I was wow. From the youth academy, where is Arsenal's own? None. 